Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto or welcome to the channel. Uh, it's good to see you all again. And uh, in this video, we'll do an update on Solana, which is 100% needed because it has been very, very bullish again. Um, got some major bullish breakouts and now it's perhaps trying to get the biggest bullish breakout of all, uh, even though it's not that much of a strong key level. Uh, but there's this level right here around like 24.8 slash $25 which Solana is trying to break above. And if it breaks above that level, I mean, uh, it, it's just it's just very bullish. Like if you compare it with other cryptos, it's been it's been very strong. Um, I was quite bearish on it when it started dropping down like this, but then I, I kind of re revised that on Saturday when I said, uh, if, if you check my last analysis, where I said that Solana was basically stuck in this area and that area was very neutral. Like from there, it could also become bullish if it broke above 22.5, which happened. Um, I do think, I mean, I must say that I, I do think that there's manipulation going on here. Uh, I don't see a clear reason why Solana would be this bullish. Sure, I expect it to be bullish, but not um, that since the start of September, or basically since this bullish momentum, it's it's up like um, a 37%. Like, I, I don't understand. And obviously, if you're a Solana fan, you're going to say, well, you just don't know Solana and, and it's a great project, which I understand, but like Matic is only up, well, a negligible a negligible amount. Well, Matic is also an amazing project. Um, and apart from that, I mean, if you take a look at where the volume is coming from Solana, I'm not going to die on this hill, but if you take a look at the volume, like it's up 200% and then most of that volume is coming from top credit, which is just a an up bit. So you know, those are just exchanges where if a lot of volume comes from there, it's usually manipulated. It doesn't matter, all right? It can still be bullish or bearish. So we'll just do a full update. Uh, right now, what we're seeing with Solana, obviously it's being helped with the bullish momentum from Bitcoin. Bitcoin, um, at least uh, yesterday evening and this morning, was showing bullish momentum. Uh, and it's um, and it's it's doing the same right now. So that's helping Solana. That's also, you can also see that if you take a look at the, the following which is that Solana is very, very correlated to Bitcoin. It's about 93% uh, correlated. On its own, though, Solana is also showing a lot of momentum. Like if you take a look at uh, the last 24 hours, uh, we miss a bit of data, but you can see that the open interest has increased significantly, volume as well. So Solana just has a lot of momentum. So now the big question is, is can it use that bullish momentum to get that major bullish breakout above, let's say... Let's say 24.75. I think that's the main level, even though $25 is just above that, and that's a major psychological level. I think it's more like 24.5, 24.75. So what we'll see today is if Solana is going to be able to break above that or not. Um, I must say that it looks most likely that it will break above that level, all right? And that it will rally on further towards 25.5 and $26. And from there, we'll see again. That looks most likely at this point of time. It just, and, and I'm saying that uh, mainly because of that open interest and the volume. Like usually if a, if a coin is showing that much momentum, it will usually break out. Uh, but on the other hand, I mean, there's a lot of different variables we have to take into account. Like because of the correlation, if Bitcoin all of a sudden starts dropping down towards 28,000 and 27,700, Solana will follow. All right, and then Solana will not get that bullish breakout and it might even like then it will test 23.5, which is its, its main support. And if it breaks down below that level, Solana will crash down towards 22.5. So there's, um, I know th th those are two completely opposite scenarios and I don't want you to think that I'm saying that it can go up or down, which is the truth, but that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that right now, it's most likely that it will continue going up, but you need to take a look at Bitcoin because if the situation for Bitcoin changes, the situation for Solana changes as well. And then this is no longer the most likely scenario. Then this is the most likely scenario. All right. That is a quick summary. And that is my analysis. But the thing is, is with these videos, you're making a video really at, at one one capture of a moment, uh, the current situation. So the situation changes during the whole day and you need to change your bias upon that as well. So now you know how, that's my full analysis on Solana. If you want to receive my trades on Solana, but also way more cryptos in my profitable own premium slash signal group, consider joining. Links will be down in the description or the pinned comments. There's also a community full of traders in there. 
and my own trading guides. So that's my full video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all later and bye.